Hello everybody, I'm Jandy the Earthy Rose, and uh, welcome back to Yayui's Main Story. Uh, I'm sorry about the last episode. The Mabazan pooped on me, so uh, I will be getting... We'll be getting right back into this. Don't get carried away. Oh, ho, finally getting serious now. Alright, have at me. I will kill whoever tries to get in my way. Be my elder brother or younger. Go take care of Ayami now. Even as Yayui shouts sharply, Kuruku swiftly dashes over and lifts me into his arms. He then carries me to the base of the Thousand Yu Cherry Tree. Kuruku, I should be there with Yayui. Let us watch from here. It is not your place to interfere in this battle, brother. Yayui kicks off and immediately lunges toward Ayu. Yayui! Ayu jumps back. Waving his spear, but Yayui continues speeding right up toward, right toward him. Interesting. He intends to defeat Lord Ayu first. Huh? Lord Yayui does not have a chance of winning when Ibuki is evolved, involved. Even with Cross Goddess protection, Ayu is no match for Ibuki's skill. So he's trying to get rid of Ayu, the weaker one, first before taking on Ibuki. Kuruku nods, then stares intently at their movements. I lose sense of time as I watch, not wanting to miss a single not wanting to miss a single moment. The three men use their skills, wave their weapons back, jump back, wave their weapons, jump back, and then close them together. It's almost like a dance. I thought I told you to watch your back. In an instant Ibuki is right at Ayu's back, and he bashes the ground with his fist that embeds with it. That's imbued with a wind skill. A column of earth rises up, following, no, hollowing out of the ground under the men's feet. Perhaps because he saw the same technique the other day, Yayui leaps lethally into the air, coming down behind Ayu. I admit that I admire you for being able to summon Quasicaudal, but you still have a long way to go. You're not controlling the dragon's skill power affectionately. 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 Uh, ah! With his free hand, Yayui grabs his sword sheath and thrusts its tip straight at the center of Ayu's back. If he hits him back there, he won't be able to breathe. For a second, Ayu stops breathing, then helplessly sinks to his knees. Without hesitation, Yayui swings down his sword, but Ibuki's fist stops it. Uh, oh. Imbued with your skill or not, you still dare to use your bare hand? You underestimate me. If you were in his place, I'd have been able to deliver this blow without a second thought. So the enemy, Yayui's sword presses into Ibuki's fist. Yayui's blade. Yayui's blade is almost touching Ayu's forehead. Okay, fine. I surrender. With those words, Ibuki's... Ibuki raises his other hand. What? Don't you hear me? I surrender. Let's stop us, Yayui. Ibuki speaks with a solemn expression. Yayui lowers his sword. Ibuki exhales with a relief, then pulls the crouching Ayu to his You okay, Ayu? Yeah. Man, your brother doesn't know what No kidding. I like to see the older brother. I like to see the older brother who raised him like that. Ibuki and Ayu share a better smile. Yayui comes to me and softly hugs my shoulders. Ibuki looks uncertain for a moment, then turns back at me. Is this truly what you want? It doesn't matter what I want. This is what Yayui has prepared for me. I tend to the wounds scattered over Yayui's body, then returned Ibuki's gaze. If we have no other method to rely on, we have no choice but to carve out our own path. Deep down, I don't want to do it. Deep down, I don't want to do it. I wish that we could choose the way in which everyone's wishes are respected, but I want to live. I want to live out the rest of my life and spend it with Yayui. 
Ibuki smiles warmly, then takes Ayu's hand and stands in front of Yayui and me.